Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another Elementor design related tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can create this type of sections using Elementor. So if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section so I'll make more tutorial like this. By the way, for this tutorial, I'm going to use Elementor Pro version. So if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can get it from there. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. For this design, I'm going to start from a basic layout. So I have created this basic layout for time saving purpose. I'm not going to start from very scratch. So this is a very basic layout. You can do it very easily. So here first I have take a full screen section and then here I have take a inner section and under that here I have take two title text and added some small text shadow with this text. And then here is some normal text widget and here I have added some padding in left and right. And here I have added a two column structure and for the left side I have added this image as column background and also on the right side this is some text this is two title text here is some small text and then here is the button and also here is the same layout with the opposite direction now I'm going to convert this design to this following design so now let's go ahead from the second section first so here I'm going to create this blue box on the left side so for that first I'm going here and going to this edit column section going to advance and instead of adding all the CSS here I'm going to add a common class name for this left style box so here I'm adding the class name to left underscore box and now going to copy and save also this page and now if I hide the panel and from here I'm going to inspect element now going for the column and on the right side taking add new rule here I'm adding my class name like dot and left box and also here I need to add colon and after and here I'm writing some CSS here and also I will leave all the CSS in my description so you can also grab it from there so now let's go ahead to content I'm making it blank and then width for example I'm adding 400 pixel and height we can make the height to 100% or for width we can set it to 300 pixel and then background first I'm setting the red color just to check it and now the position absolute then left 0 and top 0 and now I'm moving it down from top so for that it will be 50 pixel and also for left adding minus 50 so now it's looking like this and now the Z index I'm making it to minus 1 alright so it's done and now I'm changing the red color to this blue color so instead of red I'm adding hash 00C7E2 alright so color is now done and now I'm going to copy all the CSS copy rule and for CSS I'm going to my dashboard we can also save all the CSS inside our column from advance here is custom CSS options and also if I go to the dashboard and going again to the dashboard and now going to Elementor and custom code then add new code and adding the title to custom CSS and here I'm 
starting our style tag and also closing it and now I'm going to add our CSS and also I'm going to duplicate this and changing the class name to write box and here we can keep all as it is and only from left here I'm adding right and making it to plus 50 and now saving our CSS it will work for entire website and save now I'm going for the next section and for this column from advanced making the class name to write box and save now if I refresh and if I scroll down so here we need to fix it I'm going again here and now from here if I go to the after class and here for the right side I'm trying with the minus 50 and yes it's working so for the CSS on the right side for right minus 50 and now saving it and also from here if I now refresh so it's working fine and now for this section if I again check our design so now I need to move the text area to the left side and also this will be the right side so for that again going here for the first one here we can move all the text to a inner section so I'm taking a inner section and removing one column and now I'm moving all these text inside this inner section and now for this inner section I'm going to add the background color so from background I'm adding background color to white and also adding some padding so for padding adding 20 or 30 and for top and bottom making it to unlink for top adding 50 and also for bottom 50 and also I'm going to copy the inner section and paste it here and here I'm removing all others and changing our title and now for the top section going here from advance for margin from top I'm adding 50 pixel top and bottom and for bottom making it to unlink for bottom I'm adding minus 50 so now it's looking like this and also I need to move it to the left so for that I'm going to the edit column going to advance and for margin first making it to unlink for left I'm adding 100 and for right minus 100 sorry for right will be 100 and for left minus 100 so it's working fine and also doing the same for the another column and now again if I check the full design so on the right side we can see here is a large text with low opacity and it's showing vertically so now I'm going to create this text so for that first I'm just duplicating any title text and changing this text to home and here I'm changing the text style to from the typography making the text transform to uppercase and also increasing the text size and font weight making it to bold and the text color I'm making it to like white and also making the transparency to low so this text will work like watermark and now I'm going to the advanced tab and from positioning for position making it to absolute and now for the offset for right I'm moving it and before changing the position I'm just rotating the text to vertically 
so for that we can add some css here i'm going to select our selector and from here i'm adding transform and rotate here i'm adding the degree to 270 so now it's rotated vertically and now i'm changing the position so going to the positioning and changing the offset and also changing vertical position yeah looks good or here you can also increase the text size a lot i'm just leaving it as it is and going to duplicate and moving it to the bottom column and here i'm selecting it again and going to advance for positioning i'm changing the position to the left side and from top also i'm moving it to the down and making the z index to one from advance and z index to one and here i'm also changing this text to another one i'm typing style all right so it's changed now and this two section is done and finally for the top section if i check the design so first on the right side here is a box similar to the right column so for that if i go to the right column and from advance here is the class name right box and here i'm going to the inner section for the very top and from advance i'm adding the same class name and here we can move the right column to the top for both of it in our design it's moving to the top so i'm going here and for the right side top i'm making it to the minus 50 now saving it and also saving our page now refresh all right so now it moves top and now for this inner section we can add some margin in top so going to advance and for top margin we can add 50 pixel all right so now if i check the design here is almost done only the one thing this text so to add this kind of text on the right side and vertical position i'm going again here and from here simply duplicate the title text first and also we can copy all this text and here changing our text and now we can change the text color and background color so going to style tab we can disable the text shadow and the typography i'm changing the size to 17 or 16 and the text color we can make it to the black color and for background going here background color i'm changing the background color to white and also adding some padding so for padding making it to unlink for top and bottom i'm adding 10 pixel sorry it will be in pixel and for left and right 20 and now we can make the width to auto width so for that going to positioning and width i'm making it to inline and now position we can make it to absolute and first i'm changing the rotation so going to custom css and going to add the css so first going to add the selector and now transform rotate 270 all right so now it's rotated by vertically and now i'm moving it to the right side and very top so going to the positioning and offset for horizontal moving it to the right side and for vertical orientation also changing it so we are done and finally i am just checking the responsive view so for that from the very bottom left side first going to the tablet view for tablet we can change the position if i go here and offset and next for another section here we can move it to the right for left position i'm going to the edit column from advance and instead of 100 we can make it to 50 sorry first making it to unlink 50 and minus 50 all right so it looks like this and also for the right side text we can move the position going to the positioning and changing the offset 
all right and now doing the same for the other section and finally if i go for the phone view for the top section it's looking okay and here we need to move it to the down so going to advance and going to positioning for vertical orientation i'm moving it to the down and all is good and here we added this image as column background so for the phone it's looking empty so here we can add a widgets like here if i go and spacer we can add this one and now also for this column we can add some padding so going to advance and for padding making it to unlink for top i'm adding 300 so now it's looking like this and also for the another image we can do the same process so going to the edit column from advance for padding for top padding adding 300 and also going to add the spacer widgets and now for other section for top section looks okay and here we can decrease the padding or spacing for this section so going here from advanced first making it to unlink and for top it's zero already and also for this bottom section yeah we can keep it like this and here for this text area we can make it to the center for phone view so going to the inner section and from advance we can make the margin to zero and also for the outer column from advance we can make the margin to zero all right so it looks good and also for this inner section from advance all margin zero and the outer column all margin is zero looks good all right so we are done and going to the text of view and finally save our design we are done and here is our final design so that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video